Hello again, everyone. So, today I felt that I should make a video over something I feel very, very passionate about. And it has to deal with our children. I am in no way able to be the best parent. I am in no way able to tell you what your children need. But that doesn't mean I don't know something about people. And there are two things that have always bothered me more than anything else. And that is having a student who doesn't care about learning, about education, about even how they talk. They don't care about fixing that. And the other is killing a child's potential when they're little. And you'll see what I mean. Because often I'll hear about you know, parents trying to tell their children, you know, be response, uh, be reasonable, you know, grow up, find something that will make you a living, find something that will make you money so that you can support a family in the future. Who's just say your kid wants a family? I really don't. If I have one, awesome. If I don't, it's alright. The reason why this bothers me so much is that it gets to the point where you're cutting off a huge potential. And what I mean by this is that you have kids. And these kids are the most amazing thing in anybody's lives. There's so much that could happen from these people when they grow up, and if you shape them now, they won't grow into a flower that can change the world for the better. They'll just be another person in a, in a system that doesn't necessarily make them happy. Yeah, they could have money. Yeah, they could have a successful career. But is that what they wanted? Maybe your son or daughter wanted to be a musician, or maybe they wanted to be the chef. But you told them to be reasonable. What are the odds of being, you know, a world-class chef or or an amazing musician? You know, like why cut that off? Why not help them work towards that? Instead of saying, be reasonable, ask, how can I help? Now, of course, if it is a foolish dream, like, if it's just something that they're spreading out and something they change every now and then, I mean, that would make sense. But, if your child from an early age, from three or something, says that they wanted to do something, and this is something that they always want to do, encourage that. Now, I know a lot of people do encourage that, and that's fantastic, but more often than not, I've seen people shape their kids into what society wanted them to be, and that bothered me so much. I remember one time, I had to bite my tongue because I heard of a dad tell his son to be reasonable. Because this son, couldn't be any older than five, tells his dad that he wants to be an amazing cook. And the dad tells him, we can't cook. Do math. Math is great. That's what I do. And as much as I can agree that math is amazing, it is... One of the biggest crimes in the world to tell your kid, be reasonable. And that's not to say that there's anything wrong with shaping your kids the way to have a promising future. 
Parents just want the best for the kids. I understand that. I get that. Every good parent wants the best for their son or daughter. But the reason why I'm saying that being reasonable is criminal is because being reasonable is put in the way to say, give up on your dreams. And no one should ever have any right, any say, in telling another person to give up their dreams. That is not your life. It is not your choice. You do not control another person. If that is what they want to do. That is what they got to do. That is them. It is not you. You can help them. But that is it. And if in the end. They decide that. You were right. Okay then. Then I am invalid. And whatever I have just said doesn't work. And that's okay. Because this is just my voice. This is just my opinion. But on the other side of my argument again, I had education to be another problem. And this was always a major problem for me because I can remember distinctly on graduation day. I had one of my friends come up to me, or several of my friends actually, they would come up to me and talk to me, and they would talk about how they hated the school. Well, of course, no kid really likes school. It's not fun. They're cramped, in a, they're cramped in a small area with 30 other people that they could care less about. But they would tell me how school is hard, and this was a regular class. And I already know that some kids are just not good in certain areas. Some kids just don't focus on certain things. Not every kid is going to be like me. I get that. But here in Texas, we have a school system that, that forces educators to teach certain material to, to practice for a test. That doesn't matter and that has no use for your future. Standardized testing would be a great idea if it wasn't standardized. If it wasn't the same bullcrap every year. I am a very smart individual. Some of my closest friends are some of the biggest nerds I've ever met, and I would never have it any other way. Granted, there's a lot of things that I could have said differently, but when they told me, you know, how did you pass so easily? How are you so smart? I instantly retorted that how could they have a hard time how could they be so stupid? That was wrong of me. However, I still feel right in my opinion because it is not hard. We're, we're given the same easy stuff year after year. Nothing different. Nothing changed. And I have friends that are overseas. They are smarter than some... They are smarter than me. And that's over only on their easy, standard, educational courses. They were advanced. I've already lost. I'm not the smartest individual in the world. Education shouldn't be standardized. It should be what needs to be taught. Granted, every kid's different. It's very difficult to teach every kid that their own pace and what they need to learn. But there should be a way to make it more flexible, and I wish there was. Homeschooling isn't always an option. It can be expensive, it can be time consuming. But plus side is, if you know your kid's advancing faster, you could be done with a 12 years of school in eight years, you know. If he needs more time, you know, have more teachers, or, you know, if they require special ed, 
Uh, well, schools do provide that. Amazing. But I don't know what our future of education holds, but I hope it changes. Because there is nothing worse than an uneducated person. They offer nothing. But they could. I just, I don't have all the answers. You don't have all the answers. But collectively, we can find the answers to any problem we ever have. I really wish I could have changed what I said, because it wasn't right. But as it is, I still feel my statement was valid. Because our education is crap. We, I remember the same history books saying that Columbus was the first to cross the sea. However, I've been hearing since I was 12 that, you know, we have more than enough substantial evidence to say that Vikings made it way before he did. And yet history books aren't changed. Why not? You know, we have a lot of U.S. history that only, figure, that only focuses on some wars. But it doesn't focus on the people. It focuses on politics. Stuff that, yes, is important, but you crammed a textbook this thick full of useless crap that I could have found on the internet in five seconds. You know, often one of my biggest dreams that I, I would always want is to have enough money to build private schools. Our textbooks would be online, constantly updating constantly changing so that they could be as accurate as possible. Now, I'm not saying change every day, but they would change, you know, according to what science says, according to what history says. English, sadly, is probably not going to change that much, but I wanted it focused on the kids and their education. They could learn at their own rate, and it being a private school, but privately funded by me because I would have so much money it would be better for the kids and better for the families it's an almost impossible goal but it is one of my biggest dreams that I wish I could make come true because nothing matters more than kids and their potential I don't know why I felt the need to make this video but I felt it very important. So, I guess that is all I have to say for right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully next time I'm not so serious, I can be a little bit more.